Okay, let's drink some wine. Hi, everybody. I am Brian Hinchberger. And I am Paul Hinchberger. We are the Wine Brothers. Yep. Lovely, sort of, sort of sunny, sunny afternoon in uh, Seattle here. Um, we are drinking some fantastic wines from the Piemonte region, or Piedmont, of northwestern Italy. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah? I mean, one of the most famous regions in all of the world, actually. You know, there's Burgundy, there's Rioja, there's Piedmont. You know, I mean, Barolos, Barbarescos, uh, Barberas, Dolcettos, Moscatos. Very, oh, yeah. very famous stuff. And we're we're going to be drinking some wines from a house called Vincio, Vinci, Vincio Vaglio Serra. Can't tell that I've uh, had any wine yet till today. <laughs> Vicchio Vaglio Serra is the, it's a cantina. So they started about 50, 50 or so years ago with 19 growers. So how a co- cooperative works is essentially you have growers and then there's a winemaker that, that makes, makes wine with all their, all their grapes. Um, the, the co-op has grown, but what's really cool about these guys is they're so quality focused. Um, and you know, each grower has maybe 10 hectares of fruit is all. Right. So pretty small, pretty concentrated, pretty focused on really, really quality fruit. Um, and uh, Giuliano Noe is the winemaker. This man has been with, with uh, Vincio Vaglio Serra for 25 years now, has won a couple times from the Gambaro Rosso, the best winemaker of the year. Gambaro Rosso is like the, the rating group of, of Italian wine. Mm-hmm. Pretty big deal. You know, this guy knows what he's doing. Um, and I'm very, very excited to taste through these wines. So ironically enough, we have Barberos over here. We have Nebbiolos over here. We're actually going to start with the Nebbiolo. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, what, what? Yeah. what? 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 <laughs> because Nebbiolo usually, I mean, it's a big grape. It's, it's definitely, it's intense. It's tannic. It's really, really in your face. But these Barberos are nothing to be messed with. Because when these, the VVS, we're going to call this VVS so that I don't uh, stumble on their words anymore. VVS is located in the heart of the Asti region. So everybody's heard of uh, maybe Barbera d'Asti, Moscato d'Asti. Um, they, they sit right within the Asti region and make a very small amount, actually, of Nebbiolo, which is Barbaresco, which is Barolo, if you've heard of those wines. Mm-hmm. Um, DOCGs, you know, 1966, they were recognized as a DOC within Italy which means really, really cool wine region. DOCG status, um, I think in like 1982, where it, they're like, okay, guaranteed, that's the G, guaranteed, you guys are awesome, this is a great zone. So Barbaresco, DOCG, by law, must be aged 26 months after November 1st. Uh, basically, so you bring in the fruit, 26 months later, you can now release it. So essentially January 1 of two years later. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and then, and then certain Asian requirements with oak go in there. This is seen nine months on oak. Um, but what I love about good traditional Nebbiolo is going to be, instead of, you know, small oak barrique, this is big, big oak bats. We're going to really concentrate on the fruit here a little bit more. I mean, Nebbiolo, Paul, what are, what are, I mean, are you getting anything on the nose? What is typical Nebbiolo that you've often have, uh, have uh, achieved from this? Well, right now I'm getting kind of a cherry, cherry cola kind of thing, um, okay. which I want to say is untypical of Barolo at sure, all. Or, sure, sure. De- definitely kind of that sour cherry. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Um, you know, typical notes also can can include like tar, um, roses, uh, roses, truffles, um, very very earthy earthy varietal. Mm-hmm. If you notice. This is not a super dark, concentrated uh, wine. Nebbiolo is a thin-skinned grape Mm -hmm. that produces delicate, delicate wine that age forever. You know, this is like the queen, this is the king. They're just beasts. They're they're so tannic, so gripping, they need time. But but these approaches are really, really nice. And how's how's the palate here, Paul? Definitely more acidic-driven than tannin on this one. Um, Mm -hmm. once again with the the sour cherry mm. um a lot of sour cherry yeah kind of a uh what is that i would say maybe like a pomegranate or a cranberry but uh kind of that, that kind of like tart red fruit lighter fruits uh-huh, tart, yeah. tart red fruit aspect yeah. to it and then kind of like with this nice underlining um earth to it you know it's it's mm. got a little bit of floor on it but not super organic earth Kind of the inorganic, kind of more slaty minerality to this, which is kind of interesting. Um, 
but I can also see a little bit of floral notes, you know, a little of yeah. violet, um, sure. maybe a, maybe rose petal, rose stem. Mm -hmm. Pretty wine. So we're sitting 35 bucks for good Barbaresco. This isn't really big, huge built Barbaresco like our house Luigi Volguera, who does a really beefy, right. amazing, mm -hmm. big, big Barbaresco. This is approachable, very, very drinkable. Mm -hmm. Like you said, good acidity goes great with food. Yes. So indeed. let's move on to the Barolo. Mm -hmm. Definitely a different year. The Barbaresco is in 07. So Barolo a little younger. Is in 04. So, mm -hmm. I mean, Barbaresco is definitely going to mellow out over the next few years. And um, 04, I'm excited to taste this Barolo. Yes. 04 was a epic year in Italy. But, uh, you know, Tuscany in Piedmont, Barolo in, in, in particular. Uh, I'm very, very excited about this. So Barolo, kind of by that aging law, is 38 months out from November 1st. So December 1st of one, two, three years away. Mm -hmm. This is seen 36 months in oak, which means that then it spent a lot of time in bottle before before actually release. Um, the amazing thing about that is that because of those aging requirements for Barolo and Barbaresco, it's amazing that it doesn't just taste like oak, but the fruit concentration here is so good that it really holds up to the oak and you taste a lot of fruit versus oak. It just really mellows out. It kind of uh, melds everything together. Um, yeah. So, so kind of a little interject of some of the vineyards here. So, uh, I mean, check out these pictures because the pictures of this area, this is just steep hills. Hills everywhere. You know, their, their cantina sits on top of a hill and then it just goes down and they're, they're steep. Um, you know, there's cal cal calcareous soils, um, a lot of sand as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Makes the makes the grapes really, really strive quite a bit. But what's really cool about these guys, where they're situated, is a national park sits like right next door. Um, so tons of protected area all mm. around, mm -hmm. which which I think just kind of gives this this uh, general vibe of of healthiness. You know what I mean? Like it's just every, everything's enveloped to just make really really solid wines so barolo now like i said longer aging bigger typically known as a bigger structure than barbaresco right how, how you feeling what do you got mm. still with the cherry more earthiness mm. definitely is coming into its own a little bit more definitely could use uh mm. several more years though it, it's um drinking well but it, it's mm. well built it could definitely age this could add, great um, yeah the, the tannins aren't overbearing but the min minerality is really nice on mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Really, really clean. I think I would like to eat food right mm -hmm. now with this Barolo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice, nice pasta with some game. You know, something something to really, really play with the tannins. Fresh shaved truffles on top. Freshly shaved truffles. All right. So this was the Nebbiolo. Like I said, you know, small production of Nebbiolo. Th what these guys really focus on is their Barbera. So Barbera d'Asti. Uh, all of their wines uh, are Barbera d'Asti Superiore, um, except for some of their, they, they, they kind of have a second tier, it's called Cantina Tresera, so Vincio Vaglia Sera, which actually, so you know, vineyards, or, you know, winery sits here, Vincio is a little town, Vaglia Sera is a little town. Mm -hmm. Sit right in between, boom, Vincio Vaglia Sera, that's, that's what they're called. Makes sense. Cantina Tresera is their value line, so kind of demarcated wines, Piemonte Barbera, Piemonte Corte Cortese, mm. Piemonte Brachetto, you know, Moscato d'Asti. Right. Unbelievable values. You know, we're sitting under 10 bucks, 10, 11 dollars, uh, really, really good value. Mm. Um, these guys, you know, kind of a step up. So like I said, Barbaresco 35, Barolo 45. Now we're gonna move over into the uh, uh, Barbera. So let's, let's, right. I hate to do that. Oh, talk too much. Okay, so Barbera d'Asti, E. Tre Vescovi. The name here means the three bishops. So literally, there's three towns of historic reference that, uh, that, you know, back in a ton of you know huge Catholic rule, there all these towns. There was big hierarchy of bishops that lived in these in these towns, that kind of surround the area where the fruit comes from. So thus, the three bishops. Mm -hmm. In fact, here's a cool photo of all the new new technology within this cantina we're talking amazing amazing state-of-the-art brand new to Italy bottling line and their bottling line it was was blessed by the local bishop like they came out and like hey here we go you know this is, this is what we do that's pretty cool this, this is called Idre Vescovi mm, the nose is 
unbelievable. From the nose, you can tell that they're a Barbera house. Like, these are good for sure. Mm -hmm. But the Barberas are just, mm. oh, this oh, smells amazing. So good. So Barbera, um, you know, it is the grape, it is the most planted grape in all of Piedmont. Um, Barbera Dusty Superiore, by law, what that really means is that this is a half percentage more of alcohol than Barbera Dusty. Right. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but um, really, really tasty. $19. Under 20 bucks on this bottle. Wow. Fantastic. About 30-year-old vines. Um, I believe eight months in oak here. Um, and just really, really well balanced. What were you going to say? Sorry. I was going to say that... Barbera, like he was saying earlier, that Barbera is kind of normally the lesser grape in Piemonte from mm -hmm. these from Nebbiolo, but this is just super complex, super mm. delicious. This is tasting really good, really good, really good, and the minerality is still there. You know that that calcareous and sandy soil that's just so prevalent there mm. shines through. The acidity is great, really, really nice with food, dude. Serious pie. There's a pizza shop in Seattle called Serious Pie. If I had one of those right now, I would be loving life. Mm. Okay, well, so uh, so on to the big dog. This is the in synthesis. Um, Sevigna. Six vineyards. Um, six vineyards, the top vineyards. This is a big bottle. It, it, this, is, this is a big bottle. This is a, this is a big dog. Um, six of their top vineyards that they hand select go into this bottling. So six in synthesis so in synthesis you know they're all working together to form one product blah 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 that's what we got here this is their highest end most amazing stunning wine at vvs a hundred to 120 year old vine barbera fruit here you don't see this kind of stuff on the market mm -hmm. you see bees shoe fly <laughs> but you don't see you know hundred year old barbera getting a whole lot of attention um mm -hmm. So we're talking 80 bucks, 80, 80 bucks retail here. So this isn't a cheap dog either, no. you know, but, but you can smell that. Can you smell it? Oh my goodness. Mm. This is rich. It's concentrated. It's very, very intense. Absolutely beautiful. Being cherries, vanilla. Yeah. Um, so about two years of oak aging, and this is now back into Burrick here, you know, smaller uh, barrels. Mm. Um, oh, it's so rich. It's so complex. So delicious. How, how's the palate? What's going on here? Because this, this is a big wine. Mm -hmm. It's definitely tannic, mm -hmm. but it's creamy at the same time. Delicious fruit structure. Oh, wow. 2004 also. Absolutely beautiful. So, delicious. VVS, Vincio Vaglio Serra, is bringing unbelievable wines. Barbaresco to huge, big, expensive, but well, well worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, delicious Barbera Dosti. Oh, Hope you can find these. Uh, play with Piemonte wines, Barberos and Nebbiolos. I think you'll dig them. Uh, absolutely delicious. And uh, thanks for joining. Cheers. Salute.